Now you're the first to know. Okay, so this week thought I'd do something a little different. Um, so we're just gonna look at some Photoshop stuff, just some of the basics. So hopefully you have a, have a photo like a JPEG or something like that that you already have in your computer. So I'm gonna open my Last Guardian photo. We'll just use this for now. And what I'm gonna show you is that Photoshop um, works on a layer system, so what I'm going to get you to do first is go down to the right here, and this is where you're going to see all your layers. Um, right now we only have one layer because you imported that one picture. So what I'm going to get you to do is right-click that and duplicate the layer. Okay. Now you have two layers, right? And they're the same layer, right? And you could hide it, hide each layer by clicking this I. So if I hide both layers, you won't see anything, right? And now I'm just seeing the bottom one, and then now I have both on, right? So the reason I've got you to do that is just in case you mess up or something like that, you have this bottom layer, just your the image that you started out with, um, just in case you need to like reset or take anything from there. It's always good to just have that as a backup. So I'm just going to hide that so I don't uh, edit it or whatever. And it's locked, so I won't be able to edit it or anything like that. So um, right now we're just working with this one layer. So let's just say... I needed to cut something out, right? So let's just say I need to cut out Trico. So the first tool I'm going to show you guys is the quick selection tool. So all your tools are up here on the left, and your quick selection tool is this one, this brush here, and the shortcut is W. Um, it might, If you don't see it there, try to right-click one of these tools. So this one is quick selection, but you also have magic wand tool but just make sure it's on the quick selection tool. Okay. So now your cursor, when you bring it onto the uh, canvas here, is going to look like a circle. And now you can change the size of it up here, right? So if I make it bigger here, it gets bigger. So I can select more and make it smaller. It'll be smaller, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of Trico so I can cut them out and put them somewhere else. So let's, so I'm just clicking and holding and Adobe Photoshop kind of has its own kind of sensing thing going on where it knows kind of the borders of where you might want to be selecting. So I'm just going to click and hold and then just drag my mouse over all the stuff that I want to select, right? So I'm looking to select all of Trico here. And then I'll just have to clean up, see how it kind of just selected all this stuff without me moving the mouse too much. And then I'll go in and clean it up later and try to get a little bit more specific with the little details there. So I'm gonna make this a little smaller. And then what I'm gonna do is hold Alt and do the same thing, but deselect. So that's what it's gonna do. It's gonna deselect all this stuff, right? So you see all this outline and all that stuff? That's selected. If I hold Alt and do it, I'm going to deselect certain areas, right? Because I don't want the space between these things. So I'm going to unhold Alt and just, just no, not holding Alt right now, just trying to select a certain parts again. And then go back in and hold Alt again. And select some parts that I don't want selected. And you'll know by... See how it's a plus in the middle? And then if I hold Alt, it's a minus, right? And then it's minus if I hold Alt, plus if you're not holding Alt. Okay, so I've selected all of Trico that I want. And what I'm going to do is Control C. So I copied it. And then Control V. So as soon as I hit Control V, you're going to see that you have a second layer that you made, right? So this is the original image. So let's just hide this background. And you'll see that you have all of Trico that you wanted, right? All the stuff you selected and you pasted it. So now you have a second layer. So I'm going to go back to my mouse tool. And you can either hit V or you can go up here and go back to your basic mouse tool, move tool. And then now I can you know, make sure you're on the right layer. So the reason why I'm trying to click it and move it, but it won't move because I'm on the wrong layer here. 
right? So let's go to the right layer here. And then I can click and move it wherever I want to, right? Um, if you want to change the size, what you're going to do is transform it. So you can go up here, edit, and free transform, right? Or you can go control T is the shortcut. So as soon as I hit control T, you're going to get these little grabby spindly things, these little boxes here. And then I can manipulate how big he is and all that stuff like that. But what I'd want to do is probably keep the proportions is hold shift and grab the corners, right? So I'm maintaining the proportions. It doesn't really matter where my mouse moves, the proportions will stay the same. Again, if you don't hold shift, then it'll be kind of wacky. And I just learned this the other day is if you hold control, it lets you distort it in kind of a specific way, right? If you hold control, but I'm trying to, I don't want to do that. So I'm going to control Z that. Let's just say I want them a little smaller, right? And then after that, if you, if you figured out what size you want them at and you like it, then you hit enter, right? So that makes it permanent now. Um, again, you can always go back and change it again. I can hit control T again and go back and change it, right? But for now, that's good. So I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to keep that. So let's bring in another background. Um, let's go file, open, and let's bring in this background. So that just opened up a new tab. So these are two separate projects that are going on here, right? So I'm going to control C this. Copy that and control V, right? So I copy it and I pasted it into this new project that I got going on here. And then if you want to hit control T again, you can change the size or you can even rotate it. So see where the mouse turns into these two kind of circle arrows. So you can rotate it, right? And if you want to change the, let's say I want him looking the other way, I'm going to go up here to edit, transform, and I'm going to go flip horizontal. So I want him facing this way. Um, so that's just some basic kind of... Um, some Photoshop stuff. I mean, there's a lot going on here and even I don't really know all the tools and stuff like that, but that's kind of some of the main stuff that I use. So when I was saying one more thing is like about layers is, uh, let's say if I just want to quickly make this boy and again, make sure you're on the right layer on in front of Trico. So I'm just going to select it again with the quick selection tool. Control C, Control V, and then put the layer above it, right? So if I go back to Trico and move Trico behind the boy, now I have the boys in front of Trico. And again, that's because of the layers, right? So if I put this layer behind it, Trico will be in the front. If I put this layer above it, the Trico will be behind it, right? So that's a big thing to get used to when it comes to Photoshop is just the layers of what's in front and what's behind. Um, I hope that wasn't too complicated. Um, I think you'll get used to Photoshop just the more you use it. But um, yeah, the quick selection tool is probably the number one thing that I use. Um, obviously, just to cut things out and put them into different backgrounds and stuff like that. That's how I put on you know people's faces onto other people's faces and you know add weird hairstyles and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, I will try to do a few more of these. Um, on Photoshop to show you guys how much I know or like what what I do when it comes to seeing double stuff. But uh, yeah, catch you guys next.